He's hurt. I think he's hurt. So friendly. I think he's hurt. Yes! Yes! Does that feel better? Does that feel better? Now you know that I was trying to help you, right? That's what you look like, so I know. There's that man, and there's that man. I wonder why isn't he Estadia Asta Estudio. Huh? They're like, what the fuck kind of human is this? Because I've got my little baby gecko, whose tail this silly little boy ripped off. So look, geckos are like uh, like cats. And I think I was born to show people. Yes, I have dirt in my nails. I've literally been cleaning my hands with dirt so that I don't have any products on him. I missed it. He blinks, he blinks back at you. Just like a cat, un gato. His name's Lulu. But I think his real name is I've left him. I left him for like 10 hours. I told him, if you want me to come back, I'll come back. And if you wait for me, and I've done that like five times. Every single time he's waited for me. Every single time he jumps back on. Look, my hand's on the ground right now. Okay, he could jump off. There are lizards over there. They're still freaked out. They're like probably embarrassed. Are you guys embarrassed? Huh? Did I embarrass you? Yeah, they're like, oh wow. That's a long tail. No wonder she likes you. So this trip has actually become about this little guy right here. I have so much love for him and he is stunning me with every interaction we have. Seriously stunning me. He's like a cat. He responds back with his eyes. I know a lot of people don't know that, but cat lovers do. Cats will 
smile at you with their eyes and it means I love you. And the lizard does it too. I didn't know that they um, wanted to communicate as well. I only have one camera here. So I'm doing it as well. Yes, you good boy. A little boy literally ripped his tail off. What the? So this trip is turned into a research project and the thesis is lizards have feelings and they can communicate. Okay, he's saying I love you or hello. I'm not sure yet, but I think he loves me. This is the most beautiful sunset I've seen so far. Like the sun's already down, but the water, the color of the water is, it's like crazy, it's crazy. And I've got a little lizard to keep me company. Don't mind my dirty fingernails. I have to clean my hands with dirt so that I don't get any products on him. Cray cray. Definitely got some sun today. Keeping this guy warm. So he's warm right now. When they're green, they're warm. When they're brown, they're cold because they want to absorb the sun. Pretty cool. We're off to Holguin. Excited. Exciting. So yesterday, I let a Cuban farmer convince me to put the lizard back, and I did. And then an hour later, I realized, fuck him, thank you for farmers. I respect him, he should respect me. And farmers treat animals like shit. Most humans do. Anyways, I went back and got her. And she hopped back on. And she spent the night on my finger. But she's opening this eye for the first time. Thank you to the group on Reddit who likes I know lizards. It's okay. And now we must find bug. You trust me to find Cuban Resort, you trust me to find Cuban Park. Not taking any shit from motherfuckers who don't want to judge me. They can suck me. That's such a pretty hall. Such a pretty hall. Stairs down to like the outdoor main lobby. Just to give you a little lizard update. I did a lot of research. She's a female anole lizard. Um, La gantrija. En español. Hola! <gasps> and I can see her on the wall. So I've like rehabilitated her, but she's just chilling. She kind of is like waiting for me. You good girl! So people have been really mean to me. Like they've been like, what's wrong with you? Animal belong where animal belong. But like, I like found this lizard after a little boy, Lulu, after a little boy ripped her tail off. Hi. Okay, doesn't look like she wants to be caught. So I'm gonna leave her be. I'm so happy, baby. She's, but like she's healthy, you know, she's living her lizard life. And when I found her, she was on the ground dying. There you are. Hi, Lulu. Hi, my baby. So I was really scared because I saw birds here. I spent hours this morning trying to find another female anole. We'll see. 
Oh, did you see that? She just said she's hungry. Okay, I'll just bring you food. I'll just bring you food, but I'm so happy you're lizarding. So anyways, back to the female anole. Did a lot of research, realized people keep them as pets in Canada because they breed them. I am so happy. Can't wait to FaceTime my mom. So I put saline solution in her eyeball because she's the same lizard whose eye had that puncture and it's like caused an infection. She's clearly getting better. She's clearly functioning as a lizard. We are rehabilitating her. She's even saying to me now, she's like, Ava, thanks, I'm done. Like, I'm happy here. But she's also like, you're my mom, so I'm hungry. Can you bring me some food? Yes, I can, Lulu. I can bring you food. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a guava right now. Right now. Rehabilitated her. She doesn't want to get back on my hand, although she's hungry. And I'm going to feed her some fruit because there's lots of bugs here. Lulu! Look, she's just hiding, just chilling, just being a lizard. <gasps> she bit the guava. And then I am gonna put a little bit of saline solution on her infected eye. I'm proud of you, Lulu. I'm so proud of you. Okay, I got the saline solution. I'm gonna open it up. Okay. That's her being like, what the fuck are you doing? Good girl. Lulu. She's eating. Shut the fuck up. She's eating. Here you go. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Lulu.